So, Dad is out with the blue beast. He is turning hay. So, hopefully bailing either tonight or tomorrow. Experimenting. Um, Jason's given me this DJI Osmo 3. I have no idea how to use it, so I'm having a bit of a play with it. So if I'm a bit off centre, it's because I'm still learning the controls. So I'm not going to follow him around, around, but we're going to uh, get some footage, have a bit of an experiment with this uh, DJI Osmo. Awesome stuff stabilizes the footage but I'm a bit I'm still a bit baffled how it works but I'm sure I can figure it out with a bit of practice and you can set it up onto tripod as well I can actually pop it down like so if I want why is it looking up there I need to do some research on this thing it's awesome absolutely awesome right let's lock I think that locks it in we locked in there we go all right uh, I wonder if I can zoom in change the camera angle on it man what's that do oh there's a zoom function sweet I'm gonna go chasing them around everywhere now guys so I normally I use a GoPro um, I had been wondering lately about whether just to use a phone so having this to experiment with very ideal it saves me running around the fields oh my god right now I'd have chased him all the way up and I'd have been following him along, chasing him back down. So, but now we have this awesome thing called a zoom function that works. On a GoPro it doesn't. Another thing, right, is with footage as well, when I'm recording normally, I find that the footage when I upload it isn't the best, so, yeah. zooming in so guys one thing I really want to know is how much better quality would do you think this footage is when it's on screen because basically when I do the GoPro um, what I find is the edges tend to get blur and also the centering of the image I find that the Sun distorts the image and it, it just pixelates on YouTube for me obviously I basically normally edit on my PC um, I have editing software and I don't know if it's downsizing the images. I know YouTube naturally downsizes the frame rates and the pixelation, but I just don't feel like I'm getting the best quality out of the GoPro, you see. And I don't think getting another GoPro will help, so I might just go and buy a second phone that I can use battery-wise just to do things like this so we can experiment following around. I'm just playing around with these settings at the minute. I think this is the way to go. Maybe I can sell my... Ah, oh, genius! Right, guys. I sell my phone. All right, let's see. I, can, wait, can I get this onto like a selfie or something? Will it flip round on me? I don't. I won't flip. Flip. Why can't I follow myself? <laughs> I'm trying to get it on me, guys. I can't do it. Oh, I need to learn how to use this thing. Awesome, but I need to learn how to use it. What's he doing? Okay, this is going to take some experimentation. Can I get it on me? Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Can you see me? No. What I need to do is I need to sell my GoPro, I think, get the hang of this Osmo, and buy another phone, because I don't like to drain, I always drain my battery in a day, I charge my phone up at six o'clock, it's not that the phone's fault, it's me, I'm on my phone, it's like a day like this, you know, doing stuff, so, I wonder what the missus will think if I have two phones. Nah, no, surely not. <laughs> no, two phones, one for recording, I can pick up a cheap, Xiaomi or uh, Huawei, 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 you know them Chinese things, we can pick something up that will uh, help me pick something up with a good camera on it. Yeah, I'm preferring this method, I think, I just need to, Jesus, I can't keep it steady. It's meant to stabilise the image, which it does, the, the image is so stable, it's me, I don't know how to then get the camera to, 
Right, do I need to take my hand? Right, hold on, hold on. Up, up, up. Okay. We're, we're going to get there. We'll, we'll get there. Just need some time. Ah, something just stung me. No, up, up, up. This image reverse. Left is left. Up, the right, down. Yep, right. We got it. Should we zoom in? <laughs> ah, bit of a play around this. Oh, yes. I'm not having to chase him around. The image isn't blurring out too much either, which is good. Obviously, I will do my chasing about footage, but when he's turning hay, you can't. You can't do it. You're near on having a jog for half an hour to capture your footage. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. So, should we have a look at this grass then, guys? Let's take a zoomy back out. Set the tripod up on the bottom. One, two, three, up. Just like that, we're down. Now, I still have no idea what you can see, but I'll tell you what I can see. Juicy, juicy grass turning into lovely hay. So, a little bit green still. So, look at that green patch there. That's still grass, that hasn't dried out, that's why it's turning it. And hopefully during the hot sun today, this should just dry out a little bit more. Um, right, where is he now, sir? I don't think I've quite got my phone right in the camera as well, that in the holder. So I need to adjust how I have the phone in. It has to be perfectly balanced, otherwise if it's slightly off balance, it doesn't help. Does it know it's following that or something? Because I'm not turning that camera. It must somehow motion sense. I don't know. I'm confused. I really need to do my research on this thing. Awesome. Uh, now I feel like I'm losing him. Turn left. Uh, use the stick. Ah, there we go. It's got a thumb stick on it so I can uh, adjust it to follow him. I'm more used to just turning my hand left and right, you see. Not having to use electronics to do it. So, oh, wrong way. Here we go, we're back on him now. Sweet. I can't see shite. The sun is battering me. I'm blinded. I think you can see him. Doesn't have a got all the grass and dust coming up in my face. Down. Oh, here comes that dust. Straight my eyes. I can master this. We can get some serious footage. Let's go for a zoomy option again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh yeah. There we go. It is, it's following him. I don't know, I'm not really moving my... Oh, I don't know, this is confusing. There we go. Off he trots. I'll tell you what it's doing, when I move slightly, it's stabilising, so it's still moving the image. If I move like this, then I stop. It's just ever so slightly still moving, you see. That's why I'm like, it looks like it's following him. You can see that movement there. That's what that is. Ah, sick. Right, let's get you guys level with me. I'm so lost. So yeah, there's a bit of hay turning, a bit of experimentation with the DJI Osmo. Um, let's follow me this one. Do I need to lock it to turn? Lock. Hold on guys. Lock, come this way. <laughs> so David Brown fully up and running. Dad's happy with her. Well, that's creaming. I don't know why. He's having a right old creaming session the other day. Oh, that David Brown runs really nice. He's well happy with it now. He loves her now. Now I've been thinking about selling her and upgrading. <coughs> Along with selling the Leyland and using both towards something even bigger and better. Um, but she's up and fine. So her main issue has been something so bloody simple after doing all the filters, etc. Uh, phone, hello, come back to me, hello. Sorry guys, I'm gonna figure this out. Do some watching videos. Stop lever is literally moving when you're driving her. She's moving to the off position ever so slightly like that. It's cutting the fuel out. And yeah, that seems to be the only issue she had this whole time. Not running out of diesel. And look, you've got brand new filters in there now, haven't we? And we've got brand new live feed, live um, battery lead in there. She's all been earthed up, new diesel pipe. But at least she's running now. Well, oh, I'm looking at the floor. Um, up, up, up. 
Let's hope I can get the hang of this. I'm sure I will. I'm not that, that much of a dinosaur that I can't figure out technology. Okay, I'm not into technology as much as I used to be, but I'm still not a dinosaur. So, you've seen some David Brown hay turning. I did a video that was going to go live, and I probably didn't post it, knowing me, because I record a lot of videos now, and I just don't upload them. Because um, I need to do some phone editing software, because I record them on my phone a lot now. But basically, what I was recording was about this. So, I got that with Bumblefoot. She clearly needs surgery now. She's in her cage. I'm going to have to get her out if it's too hot. Um, it was because of thistles. Pro they basically pricked into both sides of her, her foot. So it's infected the joint. She's going to have to have the surgery. I know she is. So, also another thing I want to just talk about quickly is the mud. Mud is just, you know, ducks. Jemima, give it a rest. So look, you see all that mud over there? It's, that whole run is like that. So, yesterday I put all the road scrapings down under this matting and put the astroturf over the top artificial grass astroturf call it what you want um to try and keep the mud down jemima what are you doing what are you doing bigfoot is it hot in there yeah she's called bigfoot because of the foot jemima is it hot in here bubba well, it's not too bad the issue is if i get her out right and I bring it out here, she's going to be sectioned off in all this mud and with a bit of bumblefoot as well and infection on the joint we're just going to damage it a bit more so I've got to be so cautious who we got here quacking at me? hello, green pond is that you big crop Barry? they're all starting to get nicknames now not that we want to name them we didn't really want to have them as pet pets or such they're just for eggs but... I mean, Browns are always Barry, you see, but there's one that's got a big crop. He's got something stuck in his crop slightly, so he's big crop Barry. There is a Barry Barry, which is... Um, and they're all girls, by the way, so Barry, you know, like Larry, Barry. It rhymed off of that because Larry and Barry used to disappear and be a pain in the backside to get in. Here comes Jemima. Here she comes. Come on in, Puddle Duck. There she goes. Yep, I know you, Jemima, you noisy bugger. Um, yeah, so, oh, oh, hang on, who's that? So, where, one, oh, there's Big Crop. Big Crop is, oh, where are we on the camera? Big Crop's over there, Crop's massive. Big Crop, Barry, Larry, Jemima and Bigfoot. So they're starting to pick up names now. So, yeah, all right, I think I've worked how to stabilise this. So that's still going round. So he's done the whole of the bottom, and he's done top of middle. Uh, we had horses on here till March. So I'm really quite surprised how much... Hey, he's getting off there. Do you like my bench, guys? Man built a pallet bench. Look at that shit. That is awesome. It's not the best, but it do. It does the job. If I want to sit down, I can sit down on it. Um, so, yeah. Right, guys. I don't even know if I can flip this round. Can I flip this round onto me? It doesn't quite work. I'll get there. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Now do I turn it off? Come on!